Okay, so we're down here in Provo, Utah, looking for a blue Toyota Sienna, license plate X571, year 2004. It's here in a trailer court that we actually pull quite a few vehicles out of throughout the year. And uh, just as I rounded this corner, I see a blue Toyota Sienna parked right there that matches the description of our vehicle and just happens to have the correct license plate on it. So I'm gonna get my arm dropped in position. The usual jargon. And we're gonna flip around. Grab it from the rear. I've actually repossessed from this very exact same driveway. Don't know if it's the same guy or not. Name vaguely familiar, but don't recollect. Oh, you know what? This might be the same van, actually, now I think about it. Different finance company. It is going to be front-wheel drive, so... Let's see what we can go do here. Shifter on the dashboard does have a shift lock override. Door looked like it was unlocked too. On this straight away. Still no contact. I think the TV or something might be on inside the trailer, but no reason no one either hurt us or just I don't want to come out and confront the repo man at midnight. I'm going to turn this way. Drop it, grab it from the front. Really quick like. Still no dark shadowy figures standing out for the 
give an address, so pretty good indication we uh, have made a clean repossession. Nobody out there. Had there been, I would have taken the time to roll back by and get keys and let them get some property out, but I'm gonna pull over right here. Two straps and lights. Put it back into neutral. Got five or six others in the same area. I'm gonna roll by the closest next one. If it turns out it's there, I'll slap a tracking device on it and then we'll go get this one transported and then come back. Keep working our way through the list. Just like that. Here, I've got two. I've got a skip address right around the corner. The one we just checked for this one. We've got a brand new one, straight up Freedom. I think we'll go check the one on Freedom since it's fresh blood. This one called in. So there was no contact. Springville. Yep. Nope. Yep, we're good. Yep. You too, have a good night. All right, so now we're looking for a red RX, RX7 and RX8. Underground parking, like a good hiding spot. So I'm not seeing our red Mazda here at the given address, but this is a very high turnover complex. Repoed that to the Ford Explorer before. There was a lot of snow on the ground. Quick skip. See if we come up with a newer address in the area before we leave.
have no apartment number. See if this guy's social's even good. Yeah, we got a newer address. Six. Two hundred. Right around the corner. Yeah, let me find a skip address this close to the. Uh, original given address here in the area you want to take the five minutes to run over there take a, take a quick look make sure you're not just driving out of an area and leaving a very easy to tag vehicle just sitting there quick as we can. I've still got something loaded on the back here. I don't want to be running all over the tarnations. This van strapped to the back here if I don't have to, but at the same time, if this RX-8 sitting a couple blocks over, we want to make sure we get it tagged. That way we can go and transport in this one and know when we're coming back to a Another good repo. Work smarter, not harder. So they say. They didn't have the uh, second coordinate for the other number. So it could either be north or south. South was closest, so we'll check south first out there then we'll check north and then from there we'll roll on out of here and get this van off our butts all right six seven dim this out. We're also in a neighborhood where they got a lot of rear parking, so keep that in mind as well. This apartment's right here. address on your freaking building or not of course not it's all faded out come on give me a break street.
parking back here though, lots of parking. Looks like we're going to be checking the north coordinates as well. skip you're gonna have a few of those each night all the way around it okay. plus we show a newer address for him out of Tomoka California that. Go back to our map. Verify that apartment. It's a skip address. What else in the area? Anything before we want to head out? Yeah, there's two more up there we can get before we go on the freeway. Fun, fun, fun in the world of repoing. Okay. 
Look at that. Wow. There she is. Mm -hmm. I, I think we may turn the key today. We may. Cool. Does the cab have to come down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all your electronics and yeah, that's what I thought. clothes and all that stuff. So wow. we might start it today. It's probably going to be Monday, though. Just There's so many little... Mm -hmm. So you don't think I'll be driving it Monday, then? It's possible. It's possible. Everything goes smoothly. Monday should be a, a, a do it. Well, it's something I definitely don't want you to rush. So much stuff. You got the turbo on there, and there's so much stuff to put on those things. It all has to go in. A, a, Dude, this thing's going to hum. It's going to sound brand new. So freaking awesome. Boatload of money, but it's worth it once it's running. It's, like a, it's a tool, man. Well, I told her between the last, between the last rebuild and this rebuild, Thing made me sick, man. It, it, it's a tool. It yeah, when it's, when it's running, it, it makes, you know, some people are like, I can't believe you're dumping that kind of money into that engine. It's just a pile of shit. You're just waste. I'm not wasting any money. Yeah. We're freaking making this thing bulletproof, man. You're run up on the road, it'll make another 60 grand in, in, I just barely in the next put, six months. I just barely right? put a thousand into the freaking lift, having the cylinders rebuilt and stuff. I'm not going to, you know. You got some more tires for it here pretty soon. I've got, uh, the Taysom's going to get me six new ones and let me make payments on them. So that's next. It'll actually go from here up to the tire shop and get all the tires. Yep. I had him look at him about four months ago, and he's like, you got a little bit more wear out of him, but I'm looking at him now with the cab off, I, I'm ready. Yeah, fronts are done. Yeah, you, I'm you, ready. You could throw fronts on and leave the rears on for a while. Yeah, those actually do have a little bit more tread. Yeah. I might do that. I might do a pair. Oh, no, he's off. He'll do all six for me at once, and that way they're, they're all balanced and mm -hmm. wearing the same. Yeah. That's one thing I like about this truck is the toe on it's straight. I never get weird wear or anything, and it runs just smooth going down. You know what? The next thing I want to get is an overdrive. Can you recommend a good aftermarket overdrive? Leave it alone. Really? Yeah, leave it alone. Should I get a different differential then? Because it's just, it winds out so high, my fuel mileage is killing me on the freeway. Yeah, it's not going to help you much. Really? The, the price you spend on the overdrive, and then, I mean, the overdrive is a short unit. Uh-huh. And, uh, I mean, I was just thinking how much it, freeway driving are you really doing? All the time. Like, all I'm the on the time. freeway more than anything else. Really? Zip well, it up and down, up and down, up and down. I, I see, right. If I could drop my RPMs, 1,000 RPMs, dude, so I'd probably you, save them. You run at 28 on the freeway? Uh, what? 2,800? 3, 3,000. 3,000? Yeah, about, yeah, 22,000. I'm going about 75. And if I could drop that down to 2,000 or 2,200, right. I, dude, my fuel economy would be huge. Over the course of a month, I bet I'd save 500 bucks. 
Yeah, it's it, it's extra stress on the training it, and on the and on the trans, on your uh, adding or not having it. Having it. Really? Yeah. In overdrive when you're on the freeway, your, your training is spinning slower. Right. Okay. Right. And then uh, and it's under more load. Uh, okay. Yeah. 